and we are back with some more PGA Tour career and I think we're on event number 11 in the Chariot Open check the schedule for a minute yep event number 11 yeah we'll see how this goes so overall cup standings we're still in second place and Justin Thomas is still he's still way ahead of us and uh, the gap is widening I don't even think we'll ever become first because this Justin Thomas guy is just taking over. Guess we'll, uh, we'll have to do better. Uh, let's pick a sponsor because last time we did not complete the sponsor events and so therefore we got nothing as a reward. So we have to go back and choose a new sponsor. I think I still want to work on the tailor-made stuff because these clubs are still really good if you can unlock them. Uh, the last difficulty we did was medium. And we did all, we did two out of the three uh, complete. And so therefore we failed our objective. This one doesn't look like it's too difficult. Three Over three events placed in the top three at the Chariot Open, which... Um, that might be difficult, but we can try it. So score 10, one putt par is a better, which I think that is very achievable. And finish around with a proximity to the hole of 30 feet or less, which that also is very achievable. Just the top, the first one, place in the top three at the chariot open might be difficult, but let's try it. We'll, we'll go for it. And hopefully, it won't happen. All right, well, let's see uh, what we can do. The current, um, let me see. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't show what the current standings are. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just start the round. to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the Chariot Open. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elby with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Thanks, Luke. Very pleased to be with you and Rich here at the Corey Shores. And what a piece of a first hole. This one starts out with a par five. That's 567 yards from the tips, curling around to the left to a green nestled onto this California coastline. This course is a lot of fun and I really can't wait to see what kind of action unfolds here today. I don't think we've ever done this course before. I don't believe we have. But maybe it will, uh, maybe it will still be a fun one. Looks like the wind is very calm, so we won't really have to be fighting it. Alright, let's see if we can just get this driver all the way out there. Club it. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time for the second shot into the first. Alright, so that first shot was just fine. So they want a three wood, but I want to see if I can use, well, no, man, a driver off the fairway. Let's just do the three wood. Yeah. Hopefully we'll hit it hard enough that we can bounce up onto the green. Kind of curve it to the left. We're going to try to hit it as hard as we can. Try to fade it to the left and bounce up right onto the green. Might have not had enough power. Nope. Went the wrong way. That's a bit out of shape. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this lie look like, mate? Well, guys, the lie is, you know, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully they can get a hold of this one. 
Uh, get you on there. That's perfect. Quality shot that one. This putt just five feet away from the hole. All right, let's see if we can get a good lie. That starts off on a good line. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. All, all right, there we go. Our first birdie of the, the event. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. This hole here is a par four. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. I wonder if on the map, see how we can maybe use a driver and go over top of this. I don't know. Do a shortcut. See if we can, how far that would get us if we do it. Uh, that's very risky. We might actually get in the sand trap. Let's just, yeah, Gee, let's just try to. And action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. There we go. Let's just hit it there. Hopefully it can roll down the fairway. There we go. Nice. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Nice putt to make. That was that a point. nice one. Very early on. Ooh, he did bogey one on the second. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Uh, are we really clearing that tree? That branch looks like it's sticking out a little bit. See if we can go slightly that way. Yeah, maybe that would work. All right, let's see what we can do. Going with the hybrid. Come on, get Ooh, down. too far. Bummer. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. No, there wasn't. Well, I guess we'll get our par. This to save par. Oh man, we've totally misread that green. Uh, here we go. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. All right, at least we got we saved our par. As long as we can get either par or birdies, we'll be in pretty good shape. Score to beat Sam Ryder, currently at eight under par. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Yeah, this is kind of a short one. If we can get up on the green here. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swing. Hopefully it gets down. Oh, there we go. Might be within birdie range. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This putt coming up is for birdie. Ooh, we read that perfectly. Great. All right, let's try it. This one's tracking. And there we go. Drop in for I like the courses that really have the calm winds because Going then there's not a lot the of trouble. Because the wind really takes care of the ball in the air when it's in flight. The ball just goes everywhere. Let's Two under par. On the and this is the fourth hole. 
Uh, wow, we're way, way over there. Okay. Can we just do a driver and just skip everything? I wonder. Can we land here? Nah. I'm just afraid of the water. I'd rather be in the sand than in the water. Let's see if we can club you can it. Hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. And just go for it right here. Take a shortcut. Oh, perfect. Oh no. Oh well. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. I thought we made it and through the branches. Back to the fifth hole where this happened just a moment ago. Tony Fino with a fantastic shot. Solid putt, that. Let's get back to it, shall we? Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. No, I don't think it would be too hard. Well, we are kind of far away, aren't we? Let's see if we can just smack it really good and get back on the fairway. Looks to be going with the five iron. Ah oh, man. That's not the outcome they were after. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Oh well, we'll get a we'll try to see if we can get a par. Just get as close as we can here. Alright, not bad. Nicely done. And this putt coming up for his par. Looks pretty flat. got a chance there we go yep nice to make a mid-range par putt gotta say putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster now five strokes behind taking off now on a short par four all right let's see what we can do here five wood wow look at that little water area here yeah, this doing a driver might be kind of dangerous. We don't want to be anywhere near here. But boy, wouldn't it be nice if we could just roll down here? It's very narrow. It's very narrow. Um, Excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. Hmm. I don't know what to say about this. I don't want to roll anywhere near there. Got a headwind. All right, let's just do it. We'll try to stay in the white area. Oh no, that's really bad. Well, this should be unpredictable. Was right behind the rock. Oh my goodness, Here's really? Some action from just a short time ago. Oh no. Lining up for his third now. Ah, the kids. That's fine work there. And John, what's this one looking like? Oh well, no, I can't even see anything. This is gonna take some. Uh, this is gonna take some precision engineering to get out of this one. Man, what is this? I, I, don't, I can't even see where I'm going. And oh my gosh. Can we get right through the hole between the three? So the moral of the story here, folks, don't always think that you can just take a shortcut because this is where you're going to end up sometimes.
I wonder if I can just chip shot it right through the two trees here. Alright, we'll do it. Let's try it. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. Okay, well, at least we saved it a little bit. Didn't hit the mark. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Oh, Ooh, nice. Just missed the hole. That dog will hunt. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Hey, that's a chance. Well, we got our par, but gotta say, remember this that well from this is a parring everything is not going to win in, an event. So, we're kind of wasting our time. We, we've got to get birdies. Here we are at the sixth hole. I mean, this course is very scenic, but man, there's just a lot of dangerous areas got to watch out for. Of course, water is detrimental, but getting behind a rock, you can still save yourself, but in the water, it's an automatic uh, additional stroke against you. See if we can fade it to the left. Stay out of the water. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. Well, in the uh, oh, in the rough. Outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. I wonder if we could get out of it with a... Uh, Yeah, we can't use it. We can't use a wood. We we have to use an iron. Okay. That's fine. Get out of it. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. All right, let's see if we can just kind of bounce right up onto the hole. Ooh, still a little too far. That's some good golf right there. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Looks good off the blade. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Boy, we're just not making any headway. Still at two under, and the score to beat right now is seven under. Seeing off here at the seven. I mean, we still have time. We still have time to. Uh, still have quite a bit of game to play yet, but still, it's like, well, we've got to start making some birdies. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, we're back on the green. That's crazy. Look at that. Whoa, what is happening? Now, that's kind of a trick shot if I ever saw one. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. All right, little misread, but we can correct it, I hope. All right, let's see if we can do this. I like the look of this. Oh, barely. Nice I'm so happy that went in. Because it almost three didn't. Under. All right, three under. John, do you have any info Slowly climbing. Getting ready to play their third. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. I wonder why I didn't play the replay. I never even touched a button. I didn't do anything. Hmm. 
Let's see what happens here at the eighth. All right, let's see if we can get this done here. And there's a lot of sand bunkers here. I wonder if we can just shoot over top of it. Even if we land in the sand, we'll still be closer. Yeah, let's go this way and we'll fade it to the left. We do have a tailwind. See if we could just aim toward this and fade it right here. Maybe we can get up there. Here we go. Let's do it. Kind of risky. Probably going to land in the sand. No way. Wow, that's exactly kind of what we wanted. We might get a birdie out of this. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. Just or a possible a eagle. Of a tee shot right onto the green. This putt is for a spot inside the top 10. Wouldn't this be nice if we could get an eagle out of this? This would be great. See if we can read this green that's slightly sloping from the left to the right. Oh yeah, we've got to get this one. We've got to get this one. Looking better. Hell yeah. Well played. What an eagle. And what a way to got an eagle. Five under. That's helpful. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. This hole is a long par four. Let's see what we got here. Nope, we're going to do a driver straight off. Aim for here, fade to the left, go through here. Hopefully. With a two mile an hour tailwind, we can do this. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Gotta oh, say, that was great. I did not see that shot coming. Well done. Already with multiple victories this season. All right, tailwind, we got to go a little back here. Hopefully we can roll up onto the green, but not overshoot it. And get another birdie. That would be amazing. Back-to-back -back eagle and a birdie. I would definitely take that. If we can get it barely in the white. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, uh, no. Might not be on the green. Oh. Oh. It stayed on the green. Okay. Oh, that was pure. Not afraid to go deep. This putt's a six under par. Now, uh, this might be a little tricky. It is curving or a downward hill from left to right. But it's not very steep. Uh, still need to make some adjustments. All right, hopefully this will be enough. Go on, get in the hole. Oh yeah. And that's their fourth boot nice. of the day, and a spot in the top five also with that great shot. So I think this one the of the sponsor the requirements the was ending the tournament the or the, so the event Look, they're in the top 10 and in they're the top three. A really nice push up this leaderboard. Let's see how they play over this final nine holes. And after a bird at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. Wow, where's a flag? Wow, it's way over here. Okay. It's not even on the, the map. Okay. This is a long... R5. We'll do the driver, but we're going to try and maybe go this way. So 
guy here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't get a full swing. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Okay. Well, I guess it's... I guess it's better Turn than overshooting it. At the tip. All right, we still have a three wood. Wow, that's a pretty big hill. Let's um try to hit it and curve it to the left around that hill. See if we can do that. My guess is gonna hit the top of the hill and roll into the sand right up ahead. That's my guess. Oh no. Okay. I guess it's not and the worst outcome. The shot. Three strokes off the lead. All right. So in order to get this birdie, let's just kind of go a little shorter and stay. I think we're gonna try for just staying on the on the gray here. Ah, overshot. Okay. Man, it's very difficult to get from from the gray to the white in the in the swing bar. It's very touchy. See what we got here. All right, so that's a perfect read. We we'll go straight in. We should be able to bird or a birdie this. Yep. Okay. Good. Two in a row there, Luke. Yes. Getting their groove on. He's counting, he's so we should be second. in the top five, right? And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Oh, we're in the top two. Okay. So we're second. Sharing it with two other people. You've reached the 11th hole. And the tee is yours. So far, so good. Been a good uh, round so far. All right. So we do have a side win. Just punt it really hard and curve it to the left. <laughs> that was pummeled. Right drive. Should find a fairway, right? Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. There we go. Nicely done. And this effort by Kevin Kisner was just a little while ago. This is how you do it, seven days a week. I gotta say, from that spot, that's exactly what they were trying to do. I think we forgot to look up who our um, rival is for this particular round. Yeah, I don't know if it is this Kevin Kishner guy or not. Here we have it might be. Shot into the 11. All right, so let's not overshoot into the rough back there, but we'll land here somewhere. I hope. Something like that. Now the more air hang time, the more the the more the wind is gonna carry it to to the left. So we probably wanna not go too far over this way. We wanna be somewhere here. See what happens. See how it gets carried? Oh. Eh, not bad. Now Wish it was closer. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. All right, let's see if we can get this birdie. This is a good chance. Yes, we and got it. Part will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome. I think one of the requirements was getting ten birdies. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling.
Yeah, this one's kind of challenging. See what we can do here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh no. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Uh oh. Oh. Not bad at all. Very well played. And now we go to the 13th where this happened just a moment ago. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Interested to see what happens here from the fairway bunker. Wow. Ooh, Hit the so pin. Close. Let's return to live play now. Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. All right, let's see if we can make this. This would be excellent to get nine under. We could. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Get in there. It's tracking. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Well, now things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. So, what's his name is yeah, not in even in the top bird. ten, the current to overall ten, leader of this entire tour. He's not even in the top ten, which maybe he's having a bad day. It's interesting enough. Maybe we can finally come out with a win for once, because the last win we had was the Shriners Open, which I think was only the second or third event. And we're now on event number 11. We have not won an event since uh, the beginning of the tour. All right, we're just going to club this thing. Hopefully, we can clear this bunker. Uh, looks like this one's contracted the dreaded hooks. Oh, no. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Or at least we're not in the sand, I guess. What was that? Oh, come on. You're better than what that. What was that? Getting ready to play their third. One oh, stroke no. off the lead. Is this really going to be our first bogey? I don't understand what that was. We were we were in the rough. Why did it go backwards? Or oh man, that was a weird shot. Back into the fairway, and here we are with their four. Okay, so behind the leader. There's no way we're gonna get it in, but oh well. Choosing the sometimes, sometimes it doesn't always work out. Man, this hole is going to be very difficult well, for us. Off the target with that one. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad though. I think we There's might be getting saver here, getting this up and down. Two bogeys, or whatever you call that. My goodness. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Judging it beautifully. Double bogey. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. What a way to erase your game. Half a chance of being hold this one. That's too bad. That's well hold. That's too bad. What a way to just vaporize your game. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Right, let's see, if, see what's going to happen here. And again, we should be able to club this just pretty wickedly. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff.
gain from around 150 yards here. Only a few shots off the pace. So now we got to work on getting those birdies again. Because we just sank. Well, we're still in second. But yeah, that's too bad that we just vaporized from 9 under to back down to 7 under in one hole. That's too bad. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. That's a good shot. I'll take it. Terrific shot and a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. John, you're down there. What's happening? This is Kevin Kisner's next shot here on the 15th. Oh, almost went in. That goes down for an eagle. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Let's get back to it, shall we? Chance to move to eight under here. All right, let's see if we can get our birdie back. All right, we read that one good. Let's get it in. Hey, nice looking line. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Okay. And that will take We're back in business. Under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. I wonder if someone's going to come up from behind and annihilate us. This is getting interesting. So, Nate Lashley. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can uh, catch up with him. I think we're going to go with the driver. I wonder if there's water there or not. Yeah, you know what? Let's just not risk it. Or no, I will do the driver. I'll just pull it back. Just kind of go here. That way we can land here somewhere. I don't know if there's water in that hazard or not. It makes me a little nervous. Or like a big rock. And then suddenly you're stuck behind the rock. Alright, let's do this. Alright, that's exactly what I wanted. That was wonderfully done. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. We'll go with the three wood and hopefully we'll bounce in from the rough onto the green. And we're going to hit it as hard as we can. Might be a little too far away. Oh! Almost. Almost. The idea was there. That was a good idea. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Alright, let's see if we can get this into birdie range here. Right like this. I always overshoot it. Always. I just never can get it right. This putt is from 14 feet. Yeah, this might be a little challenging. Um, man, there's a really steep incline. See if we can read this. Does that work? Oh, yeah, that's going to work good. Get in there. Hell yeah. And that putt drops now nine under as we head to the stretch. And they're going to have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Nine under and now the score to beat a 10 under. So we have a chance. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Wait, where's the flag? Oh, it's way... Holy moly, it's way over there. I want to see if we can... hit it over here with the driver. Maybe. If we just keep it safe.
Let's just do it. Fade it to the left. Try to roll down that hill up there. Alright, here we go. Oh, right in the sand. Oh, no. That's not the one he wanted. Sitting at nine under. Currently tied for second. Right, let's see if we can go around this. That would be kind of a cool trick shot if it worked. Take the five iron for a little bit more power. And see if we can just go around this thing. Ah, eh, who knows. Let's try it. Big chance at an up and down. Oh, well. And that'd be clutch. Hopefully we can birdie this, this or uh, uh, but, um, I really we can par hope this. this. For him. We just need a very nice par just to stay put. There we go, straight on. It's got a chance. I like that kind of I'm glad we got that done. It, was off the tee with their tee it is nice to nice still be in indeed. second place. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm over on the 17th now, guys. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Wow. Oh, that was, that was nice. That. That'll help make a big move. Tony Finau, he's catching up. This is why we want to stay uh, at nine at the under. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Boy, Nick Lashley. We got to catch up. Let's see what happens here at the We 17. have two holes left to catch up and maybe win this event. Wouldn't that be nice? for the three wood I don't know about this, this one time to get hot with the tournament on the line oh my goodness we stayed on the green yeah, nicely played. but this putt is for a big two this on the putt scorecard. is going to be challenging I was rooting for this player Luke I hope this one goes Ooh, just we just need a slight left adjustment. Come on, let's do it. Oh, this looks pure. <gasps> no, oh my goodness, that would have been this so nice. Is for his oh wow! Oh wow! That was a bummer. A good stroke, and there it is. Now at minus nine for the day. All right, we have our last hole to try and get the first place to share this it with Nick Lashley. The final hole of the tournament, just one stroke off the lead. Okay, so this final par five, so we should be able to make it quick enough. Let's see if we can just club this thing. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. And just try to get to the green as soon as we can. Uh-oh. Oh, no. For a man on the ground, John McCarthy would have a better look at this. How's it lying? They ended up quite deep into the rough here, guys. I'm not... Okay, uh, this is not, not good. ...not likelihood of getting a lot of this one. Yeah, we goofed up. That's uh, heading into the rough, I think. 
goofed up on that one too. Getting ready to play their third. We're not going to get a birdie out of this. Oh my goodness, this is such a, this is too bad. Oh well, let's hit it as hard as we can and curve up onto the green. Maybe, maybe something will happen. At least we can try to putt for birdie, but it's not going to happen. This is too far away. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Slim wow. chance here for birdie, but you never know. It's been an Look impressive at this hill. Today. Make this and you'll sign off on a 62. One of the good guys out there, Luke. I am hoping for this one to fall. Yeah, I mean, if we can make a few left side adjustments. We might need a miracle, but if we by a miracle get it in, we'll be tied for first. Oh my gosh. Disappointing to not make wow. that one, Luke, but let's face it, from a long way away and an outside chance at Oh best. my goodness, we still we, we could have made it. We made some pretty well, big mistakes. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company. Pretty big mistakes were made, but we still ended up in seconds, I believe. What? The chariots? Open champion? Why? Why did I win? I don't understand. Okay, so we we gotta check the scorecard. What actually happened? So why am I given? I get. Do I not understand how golf works? Wait. Uh. Okay. Let's just advance this and check out what's going on here unless this event was a multiple stage type event and i didn't even realize it all right so kistner kevin kistner was our uh, rival and it looks like we did beat him and we got our objective great so that's cool So we unlocked yet another new club, which is perfect. That's the whole reason why you do these sponsor uh, challenges. So even though Nate Lashley, he won the event um why did we get a trophy not exactly sure what happened hmm. yeah i'm not sure what happened anyway hey I'm, I'm glad i'm happy that we did well uh we ended up in second in the chariot open and uh great let's just advance this see what happens here oh my goodness look at what we did so i guess apparently justin thomas who was way up ahead of us uh he sunk in the overall standing for whatever reason and now we are back in first place in the overall standing to the FedEx Cup. That is interesting. Well, I like that. I guess we'll do uh, the next event will be the HB Studios Invitational. And then again, we'll choose a new sponsor. And see if we can't get more goodies, more gear. And see if we can't make more points towards uh, staying up on top in the standings and maybe perhaps even winning the entire thing we got a long ways to go though i think this is let's look at the schedule 
this will be round number 12 of at least 30, 30 some rounds of golf. Yeah. So we got a lot of golf to play. Okay, we will be back next time.